Hey, what's up my fellow collectors? Jim from Jim's Figure Reviews. Today I'm looking at the Marvel Legends Homecoming Spider-Man Vulture figure. Very excited to have this. I kind of figured I'm not ever going to see this wave anytime soon anyway around my area. Um, so I went ahead and got this uh, off eBay. Just paid like $5 more than um, you know your standard price. So, but very excited to have it. Here it is, we get the normal Marvel Legends packaging that we've been getting the open window it does have a cool little spider-man homecoming uh, logo there on the side you get a really nice artwork of spider-man on the other side you get the exact same picture on the bottom you get that on the top you get the little homecoming spider-man logo on the back you get the promotional pictures that uh, we saw of the vulture a little read-up bio here up in the corner and then of course you get the rest of the wave um, down the rest of the wave here now um i also have this one on the way as well which i've seen a lot of other reviews on it and looks really really good i can't wait to get that this figure in hand um i don't know if i'm gonna get the actual homemade suit or not sh figure arts is showing that they're gonna come out with one so i probably will pick that up and then here's a big build a figure which is the uh vulture's wings so very cool but let's crack this bad boy out of the packaging and take a closer look at it. Okay, and here is the figure out of the packaging. And I gotta say, it is a very, very nice figure. I do like what Hasbro did with this vulture. I think the costume concept itself is really cool. And they definitely did a decent job in their sculpt and paint department to give us a really good looking figure. Um, as far as uh, build a figure pieces, I mean, I guess this is the Build-A-Figure piece, and then you get the actual little clear stand that this uh, kind of ports into to help support the wings. But I've seen a lot of other reviewers that already have it all built, and he will basically stand without this little piece. So I mean, as much as I would love to have the big wings, I mean, I'm probably just going to have to buy mine, you know, kind of piece by piece, and I'll probably be paying just as much as I would f to get the figure, you know, so... But I don't know, we'll see. But this just kind of ports in his little, um, in, in his little, <laughs> it ports right here in his back. That just ports in like so. And of course you just kind of put the stand behind him. Up like so. And that way it just gives him a little bit more st stability when you do have the wings on him. But let's take a look at this backpack piece first. Very, very nice. Very nice what they did here with the paint and the sculpt. I love how they had this kind of like army green color and this darker color. Now I love how they did this kind of burner effect. I guess that's what that is, kind of showing off, you know, if it was like ignited. But very, very cool. Of course, the other side, not as much paint, just kind of the molded plastic, but just crazy, crazy details and sculpt work all up in even the back hidden part. So very cool. But let's take a look at this awesome vulture figure. I got to say, it really is nice. You, you would, I mean, he stands really good on his own because the feet are so big. But it does take a little bit of finagling almost because I was having a little bit of issues. But um, yeah, I mean, taking a closer look at this figure, let's take a look at the head sculpt first. Very, very nice head sculpt. Oh, let's get it focused. There we go. But yeah, very, very nice. I love the helmet. It just looks so cool. And I love the green eyes behind the visor. Such, so, so cool. Very, very nice. Let me see if I can move this so it's not all. But yeah, just very, very nice sculpt and paint on the uh, helmet you get these nice little cool tubes kind of like connecting in there and you get even like the little silver rivets that the tube goes into is painted you get that same kind of like army green color on the side on the top you get a bunch of sculpt you know all throughout the helmet it just looks so cool looks really really good now this visor doesn't yeah i guess the visor doesn't come off but I mean, the eyes just look so cool behind there. They really stick out and it just looks great. Uh, this, this little like kind of like fluffy part of his jacket 
looks really good. You know, all the sculpting is there to kind of bring out that it's got, you know, a furrier material. And then coming down to his the front of his jacket looks really good. The straps aren't, I don't think they're, maybe they are molded in there. Yeah, they're molded in there. And I like how they painted the gold on the zipper and the little like buckles and everything like that. Just really, really cool. And on the side, you get all this nice, you know, detail all the way up on the back, the belt. Very, very, very nice. Very cool. A lot of sculpt all over this figure. The belt's done nice. I mean, you get, you know, a little bit of sculpting in there. You get the gold. These little pieces right here are kind of a little bit on the softer side. Coming down to his pants again, just crazy, crazy amount of sculpt all over the place. Nice coloring, coloring painting all through there. I love this kind of like metal look to his legs. Just looks so good. And then coming down to his big old vulture feet. Very, very cool. I just, I, I like that kind of metal color that they used on the back of that to uh, really just bring it out. It almost looks like it has like a, a tiny little bit of a black wash on it. But man, it just looks so good. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. All right, now as far as um, Vulture's articulation, you do get a swivel in the head so you can go you know, back and forth. He will look up a really good amount. So I love that. Looks down a good little bit, pretty much buries his chin in his chest. See, it does, I mean, you know, have a little bit of gapping in it, but uh, you do also get side to, and well, you get even more that that way. I guess it's about the same. So you get nice side to side range. The arms are a, you know a swivel and hinge, and they go out about pretty much horizontal. Come down, of course, they'll swing all the way around. You do have a bicep swivel. You have a double jointed elbow, but I can't get this part of mine to go or I think it's just bumping into the sculpt there but you get about you know about that much movement out of that double joint and then you have a hinge and swivel at the hand so that was swivel and hinge back and forth you do have this cut right here uh, kind of like the DC multiverse that, that, that cut but it's hidden well on this but you don't really or you get one, one click forward so it brings them about like that and you get like two clicks back so very nice movement with that. And I mean, it looks good for the most part. Uh, you do have a cut at the waist so you can get full rotation at the waist. His legs do come out about that much. Go back about that much. I mean, it, it kind of gets hindered by the butt sculpt. Uh, they go out a quite little, a good little bit. Let me back this up a little bit. Uh, you do have a swivel here, a cut for a swivel at the upper thigh. You do get double jointed knees, but again with the sculpt, it kind of, you know, it just runs into that before you can complete what the joint will actually do. So you really only get about 90 degrees out of that. The feet are on a hinge, so they go all the way back. Go about that much forward, and there is a um, rocker ankle in there. So, you know, overall it's a nice range of movement you get with him. Put this backpack on there. So he's not complete because I don't have the you know the rest of the wings. But I mean overall the figure looks really really good. I can't wait to get the uh, Spider-Man so I can you know put him next to it. Really really cool. But uh, to give you guys some comparisons, I do have the Spider-Man that came with the two-pack. The I think this is the Ultimate Spider-Man. I, I I might be saying that wrong. But the two-pack that came with the Vulture, that Walmart exclusive that um, Marvel Legends did. And then here he is with the Mafex Amazing 2 Spider-Man. And here's a Flash Mezco. So you see he's a little bit on the tall side. Uh, let me actually take a measurement here of what he is. He is about... Yeah, he's almost at like six and a half inches, a little bit under six and a half inches to the top of his head. So he is a little bit on the tall side. Uh, I guess that's accurate. Here he is with the uh, with a next to a black series 
Star Wars figure. Look, my Spider-Man is not going to stand. I'm going to review this figure. It's, it's, it's a nice looking figure, but man, it has some issues along with this C-3PO. It doesn't want to stand either. But that gives you a little bit of height comparison with some other, uh, well, with Marvel Legends, Mezco, Mafex, Black Series, uh, Star Wars. But yeah, that's it, guys. That is the very cool Michael Keaton movie version of the Vulture in the new Spider-Man Homecoming movie, Marvel Legends. That's the review. I will see you guys on the next figure review. Take care.